So Level Up Summer was absolutely wild. And today I'm gonna to show you some of the updates that we saw both in the communities and in the course area that you definitely don't wanna miss. So stay tuned and build along with us. So first and foremost, we're gonna dive right in. I wanna show you where to turn these on. So when you get into your agency account, you're gonna go over to the left-hand side and in the left-hand side, you're gonna go over to settings. In settings, you're gonna go all the way down. You're gonna to go to labs. In the labs area, you're gonna select sub account. And in the sub account, we're just gonna go through some of these and the go collab that's already active. The let's collab app is gonna be more intuitive and everything else. They mentioned that inside the actual announcements is that go collab is taking a major overhaul. It's gonna be its own app. It's gonna be able to be really searchable and it's gonna have a lot of other capabilities. So communities in the go collab app are gonna be upgraded. So it's good to get into them now to fully understand what they're doing. All right, and the first feature we're gonna activate is the Communities Go Live. Again, you can search for this right here. You're gonna come in here and you're gonna activate features. We enabled it for all sub accounts and then we just hit save and now it's enabled and we're gonna find some other ones here too which is the Course Studio 2.0, a revamped course creation experience. Now, we're only gonna activate this for one account because this is actually a live CRM that we have and we don't wanna make sure we mess up anybody because it does change the way you build it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and hit activate features. We're gonna pick one sub account. So we're gonna type in VC, which is the one we're gonna be focused on and we're gonna hit save. That is about it in the ones that we want. I mean, there's a lot of design overhauls as far as some other things, but not necessarily anything in there. Webinar analytics video, by the way, this is all live in here. All right, now that these are activated, right activated for the ones that we want, we're gonna go into an actual account. We're gonna click on here and we're gonna rock and roll. And anybody, by the way, this is the VC incubator. This is the vibe coding incubator for anybody that's watched the level tutorial. This is where we actually been building these courses live for you to kind of go, you know, teach everybody about vibe coding and it's an incredible community. It's already, you know, members are joining fast. We decided to make it free for a lifetime. So at least join the free version if you're interested. We'll have that link below in one of our links, but kind of going right into it. The first thing that we're going to cover is the updates to courses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go over to memberships inside of memberships. You're going to see one. There is now a dashboard setting under courses and you're going to notice that they have a different look and feel. So now you're going to be able to see, you know, how you're performing, what's going on, the courses, where things have left off, basically getting started, new the customizer for courses and magic links for membership courses. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come in here and I'm gonna select the new theme customizer for courses and it goes over all the new changes that are available. So again, it just jumps directly right in here, talks about the different sections and everything else. And I'm just gonna kind of show you where this is because I wanna make this a short video because we have a lot of updates to go over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come over here and we're gonna go to products and you're gonna notice the products have definitely a new feature. These are obviously coming in. We noticed that that's all spelt wrong, but we're gonna come in here and we're gonna create a new course. Now, when I create a new course, the course features are gonna be pretty much looking a little bit differently, right? So we're gonna come in here and you're gonna notice you have a new look on the left-hand side. You have updated thumbnails and pricing. And this one we're gonna do, this is gonna be the calculator application. This is gonna be part of our vibe coding where we're actually building different apps for different people. And this is basically an application that creates different calculators, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and watch the spelling on here, an application that creates different calculators. and. I don't have a thumbnail, so you actually will watch me create a thumbnail real quick. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with a group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. So I'm gonna come into in here right now, just in Canva, regular our Canva account and I'm going to see YouTube thumbnail. Okay. Inside of YouTube thumbnail, we're just going to create something really cool. And I'm just going to use Canva AI. I'm going to say YouTube thumbnail. Please create a thumbnail that, well, you know what? It actually can speak it, which is going to make this even better. I'm going to come over here wow, while using the site. Please create a thumbnail for YouTube that basically reads an application that creates a calculator. All right. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to let Canva AI do its thing because I do have the pro version. 
And who doesn't love Canva? Beautiful, this works well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here. This is perfect. And again, I'm just gonna come in here, use Canva editor. And then from there, you gotta love AI. AI is pretty much everywhere. I can literally go anywhere and get AI at every kind of level. And I'm gonna go ahead and download it. I'm gonna get my PNG. It's gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna upload it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna set up the pricing. This is gonna be a free offer. And I'm gonna go into the app creation method. Now one, that is pretty good because a lot of people do mess up. And now if you look, everything looks a bit different inside of here. You have your outline on the side, you have your details, you have your customization of the themes, and I'll go into that in a second. You have the offer that you need, so you need to create an offer for every app that you have. So basically this is gonna be the calculator application. I know it's so funny, it's like a calculator application that goes in there, it's gonna be free. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save, so now I have an offer to it. It's gonna go ahead and ask, I'm gonna use the same one, okay. Come in here, control C, control V, beautiful. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and publish this. Great, save and publish. We're ready to rock and roll. Comments, if you have comments on any of the courses, details, and then again, the outline. I'm just gonna be basically coming in here. Now notice it's already created some of this. I can go ahead and trash this. Delete, delete, delete. And just like before, for anybody that remembers, it just created a much better way, right? So if you wanted to add content for your course contents in here and module, instead of the module is, the, it's just gonna be the calculator app for this one in particular. And again, the media upload is gonna be literally the same. Oh, no, the media, there's no media. So this is gonna be the what. We're gonna change all this, delete it. And I'm just gonna go for now. It's gonna be grab the calculator app here, all right? And it's gonna be a description that I'll fill in later. All right, the spelling, I'm so sorry guys, descriptions. And it will be about the calculator app. Okay, and then same thing, I would, not the resources, but the thumbnail will be the same thumbnail all around, right? So for now, I'm just gonna hit save and publish. If I wanted to load video, you would load it up in here. Notice that there are WAV files, MP3, which are sound, same thing with AAC. Then you have your movies, your WebM, and your MP4s. Notice also that the size is now five gigabytes of video and now two gigabytes of audio. They did increase, it was used to be four, so they did it through. You know, you can import a link now and embed a URL. So a lot of this is the same, doesn't really kind of change, but you do have custom values you can bring over, embed media, and do all the things that you did before. Now, if you wanted to add content, you now have the ability of doing it down here. So you can add another module altogether. You can add a sub module, which is a module under this module. And you can also add an entire lesson. Now a module is the folder. The lesson is here. The sub module is a folder within the folder. The lesson is the lesson. And then there's also the ability of creating a sub lesson. So for instance, if I wanted to add another lesson, this will be how to guide. All right, I would select the module where it's gonna go, course contents, I would create the lesson and notice it's the how-to guides right in here. Now, when I click on the how-to guide, if now I wanted to upload a video, you would upload the video just the same. And again, it will tell you how long it's gonna upload. You would create the power graph in here. And again, thumbnails, do all the things you need to do in here, which makes it really cool. But again, if you wanted to add another folder, you come in here, add a module, and this is folder two. Just to kind of give you an idea of what a module is. I love that they changed the words, but that's how it is. And then if you wanted to move this up or down or in, well, it doesn't go in, but if I wanted to move it to another folder, I could. The only thing that you have to remember is you have to print these and publish in order for them to happen. So if I come in here, I have publish. Now they're all published. And now if I wanted to move it into this folder, this should move, but you know what? We can actually come out of here. And what I can do is I can take this and then move it directly in there. That's pretty cool. And again, the way they made it a lot easier for us. And you can also add the add content here which gives you the same that you had before. It just, the way it looks, looks completely different. And again, offers, look how offers kind of show up. So if I already added the offers and everything else, and if I also wanted to add a community group to this particular offer, I could. But again, right now, this doesn't look like it's pretty active because I already have communities and groups, but yet it's not pulled in there. Now, if I go to another course, if I go to community groups, it tells you the community that it's active in. And again, if you wanted to do certifications, completed course, whatever it is, comments, you can control it all in here. And again, this is massive. This is massive, massive, massive. Now, here's a cool part. If I wanna go in, I wanna customize, now they spelled that incorrectly, but you can browse the templates of the ones they have available. I'm gonna go create a template. And in here, I can now select the layout that I want throughout this whole entire thing. I could pick a color theme, I could pick the text theme, I could do a background image, 
I could set the headers, like the color theme on the base header. I could do the entire hero section, show the hero, remove the hero, put whatever I want in here, change the colors, change the image, do the transparency, create a whole bunch of course info, the way it looks. And what's great about this is I could select it. Now, if I go into body, here's the category block. I could select the colors. I could do whatever I want. I can also add blocks now. I can add a video block, a custom block. So if I cut out a video, look, I could put a video directly when they come in here. I could go ahead and add a custom block where I could put in some headings and then in the custom block, add button text that I can navigate and it's all here on the left-hand side. All the things I can do in here is, but I mean, again, remember, it's gonna be very limited to whatever it is. So for instance, you can have your whole course area here, have a video or the video up on top. So if I wanted to move this video above it, right? I think I can move it. Maybe can I not move it? I think I'm in the block. Let me erase that. I can't necessarily move it. So you gotta do it in some kind of order. I guess this will then maintains it. But again, you can go into the body. You can keep adding blocks. If you don't like the block, you can also come in here and I believe that there's the delete block. See, I can remove that block. And now I have the video, which just allows so much more that you can do here. Sidebar, you can add blocks of cross-selling other products, call to actions, custom blocks where you can come in here. And again, add a URL, put in different things in here. And then what's crazy about this is you can go to lesson pages and you can do the same exact thing by going to this up here. So you can come in here and customize. Again, you have the player, what the player looks like in here, and you could have the lesson player. You could change the background color in there. Now, again, they're going to be limited, right? But you have the next content card, what it looks like. You can go pretty deep in everything that you want. And again, you can add different things in here. Maybe you want to always talk about making an appointment or whatever it is that you want to do in here. So it does give you the ability of doing that. And what you do is once this is all set, you can save it and you can save it as a template like that. Anybody coming in here can automatically go to this new one and you can apply this template basically to everybody, right? You can also come in here and delete the template, rename it, do whatever you need, but just understand that this now exists and it gives us so much more capabilities inside. You just have to go deep in actually designing it the way you want, creating your own template, and then way you can apply that template to every single course that you have. Now, the other thing that I wanted to go over is communities and we might go a little matrix because I might go live. I kind of show you how this basically works, right? So you come in here, and if I come in here, first and foremost, always remember, you can have live communities in here, VIPs. We have settings in here that you can go through. You now have a newsletter. So if you wanna put a summary of topics, you could do weekly. So we'll go ahead and save that and it'll automatically send out. You could do branding where you can put in your different logos, different themes, light and dark, membership questions that you can add, gamifications, all this was already there and you can import obviously from school which i thought was great discovery of your courses in technology the vibe coding incubator because we want to be inside of this all together and i don't think i can change it i can't change the category but that's all right and then we have the details about the incubator all that in there what's public what's not and i have a private channel but the coolest part about this is is i have the ability of going live so when you click on the go live you go ahead and you select you're going to get allow while visiting come in here and allow while visiting. And you have a meeting room that you could set up. And this is gonna be a live stream that you can do. You can also add streaming software by adding your RTPM and your stream key. And I'll show you how to do this real quick in a minute. But you come in here and you're gonna say, welcome to Vibe Coding Incubator. Okay, come in here. Keep as a live stream as a post, notify members you're going live. And again, in this case, I wouldn't do that because I just want to record a quick little welcome video because the camera's being used, so it's not going to let me work. All right, so sorry, guys. But you would definitely do the camera and you would literally hit go live. All right, and that means that we would be live. We would end the session. And again, I can't show the video because I'm actively using the video, but that's how you would do it. So the audio would work. The meeting is being recorded and you would go in and then you can view recording and you can track the number of participants. Guys, this is amazing. You can monitor a chat, you have the react, you have the raise, and then you can also share it, your entire screen as you go through. So for instance, we're doing demos, so people can see the demos and the different screens that are available. I could stop the share, I can also end the session. How cool is that? And look, boom, recording in progress, it shows. I'll delete this so you guys see it. We'll delete the post. Again, I have to have my video available in order to do that. All right, and then the next thing is, let's show you how to do it with the stream software. So we're gonna go live, we're gonna attempt to do this. If I'm gonna open up this Zoom, let me just get Zoom on, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. All right, I'm gonna come over here and start a new meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Now this might get really matrixy for a second. In progress. All right, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go to 
custom live streaming service. We're gonna copy this, we're gonna paste it. We're gonna copy this right here, paste in the streaming key. I don't think I need to change that one, but we're gonna change it anyway. So let's just grab this thing right here and we're gonna see how that rolls. Control V. All right, we're gonna to attempt to go live. Do not select the box that has it. We're gonna go back over here and we're gonna say, welcome, welcome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go live and hopefully we're live. Awesome, so there you go. This is how you get live on there right now. But again, it's gonna get very metricsy, so we're gonna shut this off. All right, so how cool is that? And you can see it right here. How cool is that, right? So we're gonna go ahead and delete that post. But that's how you go live in the meeting. And I believe you can do this with pretty much any streaming software. You're just going to have to basically, again, I had to add the RMTP, which is how you get live on there and you'll be able to go live. But again, just don't obviously don't have it up. You heard the reverb and everything else. But how cool is that? We can go live. It automatically gets recorded. And later on, after November, they're bringing the course element back where you can do this for your courses and you can go live in your courses and that becomes content. But in any case, how cool is that? Really cool upgrades to both the communities, the course customization, the going live feature is badass. And we're just getting more and more features as it goes through. So with that being said, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.